Sam from Dallas, Texas writes to me, Paul, I've seen audiophiles use all sorts of platforms and cones and isolation devices under gear, and I've always wondered if that really makes a difference. I mean, isn't most audio equipment solid state, not microphonic? I mean, isn't, uh, oh yeah, uh, and can vibrations really affect how a DAC or a preamp performs? Or is this one of those tweaks that is more about peace of mind than real impact? I'm not against experimenting. I just want to know if there's science that ends up, or is it snake oil that makes it all work? Well, you're right. Most electronics is not very microphonic. I think some amount of isolation does help, and it really depends on the products. I've certainly heard significant improvement from using isolation under equipment. And I think it's important to remember, even though it's not microphonic, capacitors, circuit boards themselves, I mean, if you can stop them from vibrating, they definitely make a difference. So I, how much science is behind that? I don't know. I can just tell you that it definitely works. But the biggest change is under the loudspeakers. So electronics matters. I've heard it. I've shown it. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to it anymore. I mean, look, we made a platform, a vibration platform that um, sold really well. Probably should go back and make them again because it does matter. But I wanted to simplify life, so I got rid of all of that stuff. But I will tell you that one of the things that really makes a difference is feet underneath speakers because obviously they are vibrating like hell. I mean, they're creating the vibrations, right? And spikes, they matter. The, uh, is it Gaia? Yeah, I think it's Gaia, our, our friends that make uh, out of Canada. They make these amazing feet. I have, if you search somewhere on YouTube, I don't even know if I could find it, but I'm, I mean, I got 2,000, 3,000 videos. One of those videos, I took an iPhone with its silly little microphone, stood there at a trade show, and had the guys from Gaia play, and you can find it, uh, play a track, and then you can see, okay, Paul's still standing here. They go and they switch over and they put feet underneath the speaker and they play it again. I haven't moved. The iPhone hasn't changed. And I record it again. And you hear it on the freaking phone. Come on. Come on. Give me a break. People ridicule me all the time. You can hear it. So look it up. I think, I think you'll find it. Yeah, yes. It is real. It is not snake oil. Is there snake oil? Oh, my dear Lord. Yes. Oh, we are, you know, in this industry, constantly shuffling through the snakes and the oil. But <laughs> this particular thing, it is not. All right. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye.